This summit represents a significant milestone in our journey towards innovation and excellence. I'm confident that it will serve as a dynamic hub for groundbreaking ideas and advancements, fostering a legacy of which we can all be proud. The Electronic City Industries Association has played a pivotal role in transforming Karnataka into a vibrant and thriving tech ecosystem. As a major contributor to our state's economy, its efforts have been instrumental in positioning us as a leading technology hub. I'm optimistic that this event will further enhance the innovative spirit and economic prosperity of our state. I strongly encourage all of you to actively participate in this summit and seize the opportunities it presents. Engaging with the diverse range of topics and experts will undoubtedly enrich Karnataka. I extend my heartfelt congratulations and best wishes for a successful and impactful first edition of LCR Tech Summit 2024. May this summit's ideas and Sorry, we are first in our R&D centers and our state was ranked as first in India Innovation Index. Yes, and as a, as a Bangalorean, we all should be proud that Bangalore is uh, one of the world's fourth largest technology and innovation cluster. We have taken several measures to enhance our industrial investment friendliness in the state. Our industrial policy provides multiple financial incentives to create favorable economics for investors. We have come up with sector-wise policies like aerospace and defense policy, ESDM uh, special incentive packages, engineering, and, uh, engineering research and development policy, uh, these, these things provide best-in-class incentives. We are actively promoting digitalization and encouraging research and development in our state. We have established innovation ecosystems and incubation, incubation centers to support the development of new technologies and products. We have implemented several reforms to improve the ease of doing business in Karnataka. Our aim is to simplify regulatory procedures, reduce bureaucratic red tap zone and create a business friendly ecosystem. The introduction of affidavit based clearance system enables companies to start operations without obtaining approvals from different departments like trade licenses, building plans. Starting with managing infrastructure in the zone that was conceived way back in the 1970s to nurturing businesses, plugging skill gaps in industries, setting up a unique model of self-governance, caring for communities, it has indeed come a long way, gaining national and international recognition along the way. I believe that results are a perfect reflection of the quality of thought. The higher we aim, the better we perform. A legacy of being the forerunner in all its endeavors, Electronic City is the first industrial area in the country to focus on electronics manufacturing, the first to be accorded an industrial township status. It has a smart city of its own, a melting pot of latest technologies. We also claim to have the highest contribution to the Indian economy. It is IT, ITES, BT, manufacturing, um, electronics, mechanical, in, including new age sectors like uh, semiconductors, EMS, solar, EV, and many more in the hospitality, healthcare, and academics have set foot in this area. Some of the base like Infosys, Wipro, HP, Siemens, Farm, Timken, Titan, TCS, Tata Power are some of the names that uh, come to mind as of now. 
uh, homegrown ones like uh, our own te Heikel, Tesol, uh, Tejas, Tescom and many more and synthesis of course. Uh, I have uh, government entities like ITI, CDAG, VHVL, STPI and well-known educational institutions like the IIITB are all housed here. We believe as it has always been at the forefront of technology frontiers, bringing forth new levels of governance, transparency, and administration, with a new dawn of frontier technologies such as AI, robotics, for industry 4.0, and the increasing need for corporate governance, in a manner that it is going to be a knowledge dissemination platform for all the stakeholders to try and bring forth the best of the technologies that are being professed and talked in the world. And uh, as Mr. Salukumar talked in the beginning, when we try to talk about technology, there needs to be a human face of uh, implementation of the technologies in a manner that the society benefits. So, LCI Tech Summit has been conceived as a knowledge dissemination platform. It will be having specific sessions on uh, AI and robotics, Industry 4.0, in AI, for, uh, AI and robotics, we will be talking about artificial intelligence from the technology platform, uh, creating companies, the implementation institutions, and how the companies can consume it and use it in the industry. Then, of course, we are talking about the next session where we are going to be talking of Industry 4.0 plus, where we are talking of IoT, digitalization, all the new dawn industries, how are they going to impact the manufacturing? We have envisioned the program in a manner that is going to be all the horizontal technologies that are going to cut across the various verticals such as electrical, mechanical, electromechanical, or electronic manufacture and the service industries. The session will be covering all this. The third of the session that we are envisioning is, of course, for the new emerging opportunities in semicons, space as the technology, defense and the aerospace. We believe each one of them offers upwards of 30 to 50 billion dollar business opportunity. There will be a knowledge dissemination, sharing the opportunities that exist in each of these particular forums. And last but not the least is, it's extremely important to leverage all these new technologies but conform to the current societal challenges in terms of climate change, societal conformance, ESG. So the fourth session is going to be talking about adaptation and use of these technologies by way of ESG conformance and such. And most importantly, how are we as human beings going to use the technology in an effective manner with the minimal Ludic syndrome as they call, impact on the human beings in terms of the technologies impact on organizations and people. So my name is Kunal Ghosh. Me and my wife uh, Anara Ghosh, we run our company called VLS System Design VSD. It's an educational, uh, it's an tech company for semiconductors. We build uh, solutions uh, for uh, for the uh, semiconductor uh, platforms. And uh, this hackathon, uh, so a little bit I've prepared a script for the hackathon that uh, the LCR, uh, the LCR Next Gen Innovative uh, Hackathon is a collaboration uh, with uh, AAA in Bangalore and VSD. And uh, it's, a, it's a crucial step towards uh, creating uh, products uh, for uh, for uh, for India, and this hackathon is uh, more uh, than just an event. It's a mode to bring together all the um, innovators, all the young innovators, uh, uh, which is uh, from college students right from first engineering students to startups who have spent two years in the industry. So the reason uh, you know VSD uh, uh, is connecting VSD along with Triple Bangalore are connecting this hackathon is because uh, uh, we have uh, you know uh, connects close to. Till now, we have, we have founded in 2011 and we have trained close to 100,000 students across 154 countries. So out of that, we are trying to bring at least 54% of this entire crowd is from Karnataka. So we are trying to see if all these 54% participants, which close to about 50,000 students, let's see if we can bring them all together on, a, on one platform, take their idea to product, and then uh, let's see if we are able to build the products for our country. So we want to become the audience of of products uh, uh, and starting from starting from LCR Tech Hub. Thank you so much.